Good evening, and welcome to the Villainous Times Special Report, Thursday, May 24th, 2012. Tonight, we uh, are going to be talking about a very special uh, news broadcast. It's very serial, serious, pardon me. Uh, what we're going to be talking about is love, sex, compatibility, and why the Canadian government sucks at helping its citizenry. Oh, uh, wait, the last one's for tomorrow. So, tonight, compatibility, comfort, sex. Do you? Are you good at it? I mean, are you good at sex? Do you want to be compatible with your mate when it comes to sex? Partner, partner, pardon me, not mate. Mate's kind of like wordy, kind of goes from mate to soulmate to only potential person for you ever. Which may happen for some people, doesn't happen for me because, well let's just, let's face it, I get dumped by text messages. Uh, never mind. Well, I'm not better. Uh, so what we're going to talk about is compatibility. Communication is awesome. Another note, we'll hit that later. Not today, but later. Later as in like far beyond, maybe in another cast. So anyway, compatibility when it comes to sex. How far are you willing to go to be good at it so that way you can be compatible to meet your partner's needs, expectations, and your orgasmic pleasure abilities. Uh, which I'm pretty sure is not a real word, but it fits nicely for what we're talking about today. So, as a male, you can take such steps as building your core muscles. Which is good for you and as a whole, as a human being. But also, you can get a really nice bike, or a really crappy bike. Raise the seat a little bit too high so your nards are a little bit sore when you're uh, riding. So it's like... You know, here, and that this, this is too high. And then you're sore, and then, ah. But anyway, build stamina. So uh, if you're all about stamina, let's do that. That's awesome. Uh, stamina also helps with the, the lower abdominal core. You can also flex the muscle at the bottom, the, the near the scrotum. Uh -uh, I don't really like that word. <clears throat> but yeah, you can do that. Uh, that also builds stamina. That is, of course, if your partner needs stamina. Compatibility here. I like to build my compatibility uh, you know, with both hands. Uh, not that that's possible anymore, but it used to be. I'm not a big, very big advocate for porn, uh, unfortunately. Very bad aspect of... Not bad, bad's not the right word. A very greedy aspect of our society. And uh, belittling women, which I'm not so keen about. Uh, equality, awesome. Mm, belittling minority, building false expectations about sex. Not so great. Uh, anyway, um, I have been told that I'm amazing at sex. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm like 178 pounds of raw muscle at, you know, and the hair. I got hair. Hair. It's almost dreaded, again, for the fourth time. Not really going to go with dreads, but it's getting there. Anyway, I've been told I'm amazing at sex. Not that I would know. You would know. You don't know. Not anymore. We're you. We're left hand. Left. We're left. Never mind. Um. So anyway. Um. Be compatible. Learn your partner. Get to know them. Equality. You boast. Both boast. You boast must both. Both. You both must boast that together you are fantastic and that you both achieved the goals by which you have set and expectations and orgasms during sex. So, uh, love is not a single emotion or event uh, that happens in any particular moment in your life. That spark, I'm going to talk about that in another podcast. I already wrote about it, big lengthy thing, because I love writing. Anyway, uh, it's not a single event. Love is the amalgamation of virtuous living com compatibly, compatibly, compatibility wise with your partner. So do it. Learn to become compatible. Thus, you adore equality. And hate the Canadian government for what they're doing to the protesters in Montreal right now. Bill 78, single digit fist is for you. Single digit fist being more than F off. Because it stands for who we are as a humanity. Hating those who control us. For mere profits. So that was a lengthy rant that I did all in one shot. I hope you enjoy Thursday's Villainous Times podcast about equality, 
love, uh, sex, and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I got right now. Have a great day. Uh, again, for E, for equality, and U, for universal, we put together and we got equality universal. You can email me at villainoftruth at gmail.com or visit me at villainoustimes.blogspot.com to check out my various articles. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope to see you tomorrow for a very special report as to why Stephen Harper is a prosthetic human being and we might discuss which version he's on. But if not, we're going to talk about the protests and as well we'll talk about why Canada sells asbestos roofing to India, which is toxic and kills people if they do inhale the fibers, uh, which we don't even use in Canada. We'll also probably discuss the fast ferry fiasco, uh, taking off the woodland caribou off the endangered species list in Ontario to, so that the government can continue its uh, logging industry. Yeah, that's it, logging industry. We got it. We're good. And, um... Yeah, well, we could talk about all sorts of stuff. I could go on forever, honestly. I could write forever. That's what I'm going to do. This is all for you, Canada, world, Greece, Spain. I know your plight. I've been there, but I am one, and you are many. Have a great day. This is Juton for the Villainous Times. Thank you so much for tuning in.